Well, Ryan, uh, final couple games here before the Christmas break, but just looking back at uh, that game Tuesday in, in Black Falls, uh, what did it say about the team uh, coming back, tying it in the second, and then uh, ultimately uh, winning the game from, from your standpoint? Uh, what would you think of the effort? Uh, it was one of our better ones of the year. I, I don't necessarily know if we were great for the first period. Um, guys battled back. Obviously, we're missing a, a ton of key pieces offensively in our lineup. And... Um, you know, found a way to, to keep ourselves in the game. And I, I think that was the main part is, is just stay in it. Uh, had a real big five, uh, two minute five on three kill, which I think was probably the, the catalyst for the game turning around on our side and um, brought a little bit of physicality later in the game. And um, I just think we were able to, to stick with it long enough. Uh, what has uh, Huey Hooker's play uh, uh, meant to the team here, especially uh, lately when you're just dressing 5D? Yeah, it's been good. I think he's uh, he's a guy that just needs to play with consistency, and when he has that, he's pretty darn good for us. But um, it, it's hard to struggle with consistency when you're on the ice for 30 minutes a night. Uh, you just you're back out there every second shift, and uh, he's been huge. And, and Heath Armstrong getting a big goal in that game as well, and uh, as he continues to to, to get back uh, on track here, putting up good, uh, some good numbers this year. Yeah, he's done well. I, I think the issue now is uh, we need to get some schools uh, in the mix here a little bit more serious. Uh, he deserves an opportunity at the next level, and he just needs to keep doing what he's doing, producing, and, and we're going to help him take care of the rest. What have you thought of uh, Luke Bibby uh, through these uh, these games that he's gotten the opportunity to play? Saw him uh, uh, throw the body around there on Tuesday, but just uh, on, on Bibby's play rate right now. Yeah, really useful. Um, you know, in the face of a lot of guys being gone, we've had some uh, that haven't been able to step up to the challenge and, and do more. Uh, Bibbs is the opposite. He's brought a lot. Uh, we went down to nine forwards in that game for the most part after the second period. And um, some was we wanted to see some guys less. Uh, the other part was we wanted to see Bibbs a heck of a lot more. And then, and then finally, just uh, free stepping onto the ice and uh, scoring the, the shootout winner. Seems like a pretty confident uh, shooter there for just being 16 years old. Yeah, I think the benefit is we saw that guy take, uh, you know, shootout shots in practice for the entire playoffs in Centennial Cup last year, and uh, we know that he can score in those situations, so it was an easy pick. Okay, the, the final weekend here, we get two home games, two north teams. The first one here we haven't seen yet this year face-to-face, uh, -face, but uh, we'll get to tonight. Uh, Ryan, just uh, uh, what do you want to see from the team here as uh, we still have the World Junior A Challenge going on, and the focus is uh, the two games here. Yeah, I think Bonneville's the best team in the league that we, we haven't played. Um, they look real good on video. I know they're missing a couple of key pieces from their team tonight, but we're still missing eight. Um, so two and eight, much different things. Uh, I think our guys have to be uh, extremely aware of who they're on the ice against tonight and, and ready for a huge challenge. Ryan, good luck tonight. Thank you.